Hello and welcome back to another After Effects video. So in this video, we're going to keep on looking at camera here. So just note the uh, positions in Z space here, 0, 300, 600, and 900. All right, so we can press Control, Shift, Alt, and C to get a new camera. We choose a 50 millimeter lens there. All right, uh, what we can also do is do a multiple views. So this is like an interesting way to look at things. So we can do two views and we can already see what is going on with the camera, right? So this anchor point here, Shift and A to get the point of interest. So this anchor point, this is the point of interest, basically. Uh, and what we can do is there's a few different things. Like say we just let's just look at the selection tool to start with. Um, you can see I'm moving the point of interest. So like here you can see the egg is the point of interest. Here's the uh, the goldfish. Uh, the ship wheel is going to be the next one. And there is the butterfly, right? Or the uh, moth. I keep calling it a butterfly. So that is a way that you can individually move the point of interest just by dragging it along like that. Let's go for the goldfish. All right. So let's um, actually to maybe make this a little bit smaller so we can see everything here. All right, so when we drag it we, using the selection tool, there's different things we can do. For instance, if I drag the x-axis here, what's going to happen? Well, you can see I'm dragging the whole lot, right? I'm dragging the whole lot, so we're going that that way. Um, now, what if I don't want to do that? Well, what I can do is I can press the control key. Now you can see the point of interest is staying in the same place. So essentially, if I go like that, you can see it's actually it's actually going around the corner like that. It's kind of an interesting look. So essentially, hold down control while dragging one of the the uh, cardinality keys, and then you're going to keep the point of interest in the same place. You can also just uh, just look at the numbers here. You can see the position is just changing, and point of interest is remaining constant. Uh, the other thing to do is is to do with the orbit tool. So let's just uh, do position and point of interest here. And we'll go to later point. Now the orbit tool, what do you have? Well, you've got, if you look at it, we've got orbit around cursor and orbit around camera. We'll look at those two, right? So what is the difference between these two? So we'll, we'll do the orbit around the camera. So say we want to orbit around the camera, right? Take a look at the uh, the numbers here. You'll notice that the point of interest is not changing at all. So we're just orbiting around the camera there. Okay, so What's the difference with orbit around cursor? Orbit around cursor, you can see they're all changing. So you can see there's the X and Z changing. We can, we can change them all. We can go all the directions we want and we can change those angles. So just to clarify, you can see here, all the numbers are changing for both point of interest and position. Here you can see only the numbers for position are changing. So that's the difference between using the two different modes. I used the cursor for the first bit and then the, around the camera for the second bit. You can see it in the uh, final result there. You can really notice the change here. All right, so thanks for watching.